longtime Connecticut senator and vice presidential candidate Joe Lieberman died Wednesday from injuries from a fall. His funeral will be held tomorrow and officiated by Rabbi Daniel Cohen. News 8's Bob Wilson spoke one-on-one -on -one with the rabbi this evening and has a look at the senator's historical faith. I first saw him at a distance when he was the uh, commencement speaker at my graduation from Yeshiva University in 1989. Little did I know that decades later I'd be his rabbi. While Senator Joe Lieberman was known as a strong Jewish political leader rising up through the ranks to find his name on the vice presidential ticket, Rabbi Daniel Cohen says he was humble and always put God first. It wasn't what do I want, but what does God want of me? And when you have that moral anchor, you have that North Star, the rest is kind of easy because you know what you stand for and then you look at every decision through that prism. The rabbi says the senator led by example and put his beliefs over the political party. The Democrat visiting the West Wall in Israel with the Republican Senator McCain as he was being considered for the running mate on the presidential ticket. His legacy and his mission is needed more than ever in the world today. It does nobody any good when Republicans and Democrats can't speak to each other. And his name will go down in history as the first Jewish vice presidential candidate. So how will he be remembered at tomorrow's services? Despite his stature, he truly treated everybody with honor. It says in Ethics of Our Fathers, uh, the one who is honored is one who honors others. And everybody's got a Joe Lieberman story. There will be family and political leaders from senators to the governor and religious leaders across the state remembering him as one of their own, one who would walk home from the synagogue in the rain. He was what we called a mensch, you know, we appreciated his humanity, you know, he was uh, a mensch in, in Jewish tradition is a word that, you know, he was a decent human being. Kind of walking in two worlds, you know, not isolating himself, um, but at the same time engaging and elevating, but still remaining true to his principles. Services will begin tomorrow morning, 1030 in Stanford. In Hartford, Bob Wilson, News 8.